Hello, let's draw an onagon or a nine-sided regular polygon given the length of one side. The first thing we need to do is to draw a horizontal straight line at the bottom of our screen and on the left side of this line we will mark a point A. Now set the compass to the length of the side of the nonagon that we want to draw and scribe an arc to get point B as shown here. This will be the first side or the base of the nonagon we want to draw. So now setting our compass to the length AB we are going to scribe two intersecting arcs which will give us the third vertex of the equilateral triangle which we will call 1 as shown here in the video. Where the two arcs intersect we will call this point 1. So the next step is to draw the perpendicular bisector of the side AB. So we set our compass to the length slightly more than half and we scribe two arcs as can be seen here. And now we scribe our second arc cutting the previously drawn arc. Now we draw a vertical line through the two previously drawn intersecting arcs, as shown here. So the next step is to complete the equilateral triangle joining vertex A with vertex 1. The next step is we do a perpendicular bisector of the side 1B using the same process as we did with the side AB as can be seen here. Again, setting our compass slightly longer than the length 1B, we draw or scribe two intersecting arcs. Now setting our ruler on point A, we draw a line through the intersecting arcs. This line cuts the line 1B at a point which we will call M as shown here. The next step is to set the compass to the length 1m and centering the compass on the point 1 we scribe an arc until it cuts the vertical line at a point which we will call O as can be seen here. And this point O is going to be the center point of the circle that our nonagon is going to be inscribed inside. And now centering the compass on this point O and with length OA we draw a circle as shown here. So now setting our compass to the given length AB we are going to divide our circle into nine parts, which will be the vertices of our nonagon. I remind you that this method is an approximation method with an error of about 5%, which is fine for drawing by hand. So now, as you can see, we scribe our fourth arc, cutting the circle, and we continue setting our compass on the previously scribed arc. And we cut the circle again. If we are working with precision and accuracy, we should cut the arc exactly where the vertical line cuts the circle, as can be seen here. And we continue the process. Again, setting our compass on the previously scribed arc and scribing the next arc. And now the second last one.
Okay, and again, if we've been working with precision, our final arc should cut at the point A. The next thing is we will name our arcs A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and I. And our final step is to join the vertices of our nonagon F to G, G to H, or H to G. We do this using a darker colored HB pencil. We continue joining the vertices I back to A. A to B, our base again, B to C, vertex D to C, D to E, and finally we close our nonagon, our eight-sided polygon, regular polygon, E to F. So I hope this video has helped you. Please press like or subscribe to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.